Hmm. I wonder if that could be the delivery that I've been expecting. Oh, it is. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. You got it? Yep. It's gonna be white gonna be in your front. I'm gonna set it right down here. Okay. Alright. It's our new birch mattress. Since I'm pregnant, I've really been wanting a new mattress, so hopefully I can sleep better. And if you don't know about birch, they're a premium mattress in a box company that makes mattresses and sleep products that not only look good and are comfortable, but they're also healthful and environmentally friendly. I know you guys may think it's crazy buying a mattress without first being able to put your hands on it and feel it and sit on it and you know, but I've done a lot of research over the years and I really wanted an organic mattress but it's hard to find them locally and looking at birch it just fit everything that i was looking for and another thing that kind of, kind of puts my mind at ease is there's a hundred night sleep trial so you get a hundred nights to decide if you like it or not if it's good for you and if it's not then you can return it and get a full refund so you really can't beat that plus like they ship it straight to your door. It's right there. You don't have to go driving down the highway with it tied to the top of your car. They just deliver it to your house. It's awesome. A couple years ago, we got organic mattresses for the kids and set them up on their bunk beds and they have really loved them. It really puts our mind at ease that we're all going to be sleeping on non-toxic mattresses. Mattresses are normally filled with all kinds of synthetic chemicals and endocrine disruptors, which really affect your health. And when you think about how long you sleep on a mattress every night, I think, what is it, a third of your lifetime is spent Sometimes. sleeping? So that's a lot of breathing in a lot of fumes, possibly from toxic mattresses. And it's really awesome to know that birch mattresses are made with wool and natural latex. They're GOTS certified and Green Guard Gold certified, which are really great certifications to make sure all those nasty chemicals, phthalates, formaldehyde, and all those pollutants and VOCs are not in the mattress that you're sleeping on and spending so much time on. To learn more about birch living and what all they have to offer, click on the link below in the description box. You can get $400 off a mattress and two free pillows with your order. Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. It wasn't all out there crazy to me that we ordered a mattress without seeing it. Because you, you buy things on Amazon and all over the place or just buying things online. But seeing a mattress in a box, that was something that was a little out there for me. So I'm like, let's try out this mattress. <laughs> let's, I got to see what it looks like. It's in this box. It doesn't look like a mattress can fit in it. Let's try it out. And she's like, hold on, hold on. Not so fast. Before we set it up, I first want to rearrange our bedroom. So she got to work rearranging the bedroom. And then after that, she's like, we need a new comforter for our mattress. So she gets online and orders this comforter. And then after that, she's like, we need a new headboard for our bed and our mattress and our comforter. And at this point, I'm thinking, this is starting to sound like if you give a mouse a cookie, that story that we read in, in the book as a kid. And it was like, if you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to want a glass of milk. And then if he gets a glass of milk, he's going to want a straw for his milk. And then if he has a straw, then he's going to want a napkin. And it just keeps going on and on. And that's what it's starting to feel like with me here. Well... You know, you'll do whatever you can for your pregnant wife who's been wanting a baby for a long time. Yes, yes. Hey, I'm going to work this every angle I can. <laughs> but in my defense, the headboard is something I've been wanting to do a long time. We have this wood. It's actually flooring from our house that we bought in the city. And when we first moved in there, 
it was all nasty carpeting and we ripped it all up and we pulled thousands of staples out of the floor and refinished the floor and then after we sold our house I was driving by one day and I saw they were ripping out all of the hardwood <laughs> like this is oak hardwood and I loved it when we lived in that house and it was just sitting on the side of the road so I stuffed as much as I could in the car whenever I was going by and brought it home and this has been several years ago so the wood has been stored up somewhere and I've been wanting to do something with it for a long time and I actually had forgotten about where the wood was I knew that we, you had gotten it before I for, but I forgot where it was and I didn't realize when you sent me to go get the wood I was going to be going on like a danger mission I've not been up here in a while. Man, we need to do some cleaning up here. Pretty nervous about going in here, mainly for wasp. We're also thinking, hopefully there's no snake in here either. Whoa, that was a wasp. Yeah. You got it. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. Wasp keep coming out of here. I'm not sure from where though. Got any words of encouragement down there? Don't get stuck. <laughs> go right, go. Alright. Let's go grab some of this more of this one can stuff. Somebody out there say put on my bee suit too. I'd probably fry and pass out up here. It's hot up here. Off the floor it's gonna get me in. Not that heavy, am I? Floor. Oh man. So mission accomplished with retrieving the old flooring. Yeah. And you didn't even get stung. Whew, yes. It's a plus. Yes, thankfully. <laughs> so you gave me a vague idea of what you had in mind for the headboard. And I was like, I really need something super simple because I'm not the best carpenter. But I was like, I can do this project. And, but I was like, I also need some kind of plan to go off of so I know what materials we need and what I'm actually doing. So you took some measurements of the bed frame that we're going to be putting the headboard on. It's 61 and three quarters, so 62. So that's the width. And then for the height, I think we should go somewhere maybe about right in here. See what that would look like. Mm -hmm. So somewhere around right in there, 66 inches. Yeah, that put it about five and a half feet. So that'd be good. I think so. I just sat down and worked on putting a plan together. And then after that, it was time to go pick up the materials that we needed to put this headboard together. So we headed on over to our big box hardware store. And it's actually where my brother works. And it's really nice when we get to see him and he oftentimes helps us out. And we really enjoy interacting with him and seeing him there. So we gathered up all the lumber that we needed. Mm -hmm. 
and then it was time to load it on up and head out. And typically when we head to these type of stores, we usually take my farm truck to transport the items in, but this time it was raining and I couldn't take my farm truck because all the materials would have gotten wet. So we brought our van to transport the items. You mean our truck van? Yes, yes. And uh, some people were a little hesitant that I was gonna be able to get all the materials in our van. I should never doubt. So we got it all in and the kids just squeezed in and they had to ride kind of home with their heads just kind of tucked down just a little bit. But mission number two, accomplished. And in addition to the lumber, we also purchased drywall materials. So before we can set up our new mattress, Lacey first wants me to build a headboard for our bed. But before we build the headboard for the bed, Lacey first, before that, wants me to paint the wall. But before I paint the wall, she wants me even before that to fix the drywall here. And the story with the drywall is it has a number of imperfections. And as Lacey says, it's kind of terrible. Actually, she didn't say kind of, she said it is terrible. So I can't totally disagree with her because when we first set this wall up, actually it was mostly me doing the drywall here. This is my first time really doing drywall. So there's a number of spots, check this out. So as you can see here, there's a number of spots that need some mud on it to smooth it out because it looks like the area of where the Grand Canyon is or something in some of these spots. Oh, so we'll have to work on it. It's fixable, but there are some spots that look kind of terrible. <laughs> And as the wall was drying, Lacey and I got to work with putting the headboard together.
so based off the plan this piece here we need one piece at 62 inches and then next we need two pieces at 62 and a half and then our last piece will be 55 inches are you sure we're going to be able to get this in the room because you know that tight turn right there with the bunk beds and all we'll give it a shot keep this thing moving we'll give it a shot if not we'll figure out plan b c d whatever else needs that At this point, before we proceeded any further, we're like, we really need to see if our flooring will actually fit on here the way that I had planned. So this just gives us a rough idea of what it could look like. So we'll have a, maybe instead of these two by fours here, we'll have a one by four border, just framing the entire thing. And then some of these pieces that are hanging off, they'll just fill in right here. So I'm hopeful that we can work this out. Should look good, should. And at this point, I'm really wondering, are we gonna have enough to finish it? But I'm like, Let's keep moving forward. So we put all the flooring up, got back to work. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in so where I can find myself. And once we got all that together, I was even more concerned if we were actually going to make it into the room because it's a really tight hallway space. And I'm like, it's going to work. We'll take it in there, but it's going to work. It's going to fit. Trust me. See if we can make this. Uh, let's do the first challenge. Uh, uh. All right. All right. Got it for a second. Yep. Gonna go under. Uh, yeah. Go right back there. Yep. Back it up. Something like that. And you were worried we were going to not be able to get it in. I was worried. I know how hard it is to get long things around this corner. That was my major concern. Well, and one of my favorite games has been Tetris. And just packing stuff and moving stuff around. It's just Tetris in real life. Mm-mm. <laughs> you had your doubts. Mm. Well, the next day, it was back to working on the drywall. Sanding. Then adding some more mud.
And then the day after that, more sanding. Then cleaning the wall. And then it felt so good to put some paint on the wall. And this was the color that Lacey selected. And I was hoping she would like it. We'll see. I'm all excited. Still some touching up to do, but. It looks good though. I like that color. When I saw the wall painted and it looked really good and I love that color, I really wanted to go ahead and set the mattress up then, but I knew that it would be better if we just went ahead and finished the headboard and get it all done and then set the mattress up. And the next to the last step for finishing the headboard is to install the flooring from our old house. I'm no carpenter, but let's see if this works. I measured the first piece. Mike cut it. I added some glue and then I nailed it into place. Yay, it worked. My nails are long enough. Success, now let's get this thing going. It's not always super smooth, but it's always nice to work on projects together as a family. Not only do we get stuff done and work through challenges, we also spend quality time doing these types of things. All right, looks like it's getting a little close. We're gonna have enough to finish? I hope so. I mean, I think I calculated it right, but I guess we'll soon find out. Think we're gonna have enough to sign? Is it Confidence. all the way over there to sign? Uh, yep. Can you put a nail in it? Yep, right there. Here? Yep. There you go. Looks like we're down to the wire. Last piece. <laughs> what are we going to do? Do we have enough? We don't have, we're, we're down to like, we're shy of having one piece be long enough for the whole project. So, we're just going to do some creative engineering, and that's our last piece, and we're just going to take a piece of a piece and make it look like a full piece. There we go. And that part right there is going to be hidden probably by the mattress anyway, so shh, nobody will know but you guys. Here's the last piece. I'll take that back. This is the last piece. Okay. I'm glad I'm finished with this part. Now we move on to the next part. Then finally the last part of this whole project was sanding the wood. and then staining it.
And to make it match a little better, I even kind of roughed up the new outer pieces. Okay, that looks better. Almost at the finish line. Wall done. Headboard done. We let it dry. And then after all this work, I'm thinking, I hope you're going to like all this. I hope it's going to come together the way you want it because I put a lot of time and energy on it. Is she going to like it? So we started bringing the headboard in and trying to see it just all come together. Back to the side. Down, Michael. Mm -hmm. like, ah. Taylor shouldn't get caught. Now we're going to have to go in first. outside I was a little concerned that it was too dark it's not exactly what I wanted I was like it's it's pretty but is it gonna match and so once we got it inside I was really happy to see that it looked really good and I was super happy with it I must say I like it too great job picking all the colors and everything out I think it just comes together well and then it was like all right now it's time for the mattress. After all this, let's bring this mattress out. We're ready to set it up. Let's do it. Please read before unwrapping your mattress. Step one, remove the sealed bag. Step two, step back and watch as your mattress begins to unroll. Step three, allow mattress 72 hours to fully decompress. However, you may sleep on it right away. Throughout this project, I didn't have a lot of doubts, but I did have doubts on the mattress with it being in that tiny box. If you ordered the right size, I was like, I don't know, this doesn't look like it's going to be the right size, but seeing it as it just expanded and it was just like, it was pretty amazing. It's like, I'm amazed how they got a mattress in a box. Just, just blows my mind. It was like the marshmallow man. It was, it was just like kept getting bigger and bigger. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it sure was. It sure was. After the mattress started expanding, we ripped the plastic off. We got it all up in the right place. And let me tell you, it feels so soft. For me, the icing on the cake for this whole project was putting on our new sheets, on our new mattress, with our new duvet cover, and everything just came together. It's so soft. This is not like our other mattress. This is so soft. Okay, let's fix this thing. Oh, okay. Hold it back. About right there. Oh, and I can't forget the two free pillows we got from our birch order.
These aren't going to expand on us, are they? <laughs> It's like we have a whole new room. I'm so excited about this. Yeah, it's like we're staying in somebody else's Airbnb or something. It's just you know, like, when you oh, go man. to an Airbnb and you get in the bed and you're like, oh yes, this bed feels so good. That's what it feels like. <laughs> and it's so nice to be able to invest in our health in this way. For years, we've had that old mattress. We probably had it more than 12 years and it was given to us, so it was used already. But it feels great to be able to invest in our health and do something that we've been wanting to do a long time and uh, just do you know, something good for us, for our health. Yeah, after grinding it out for a number of years, trying to get our business going and pinching pennies, it's nice to be able to do a little project like this for you. Well, well thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it. Maybe you love me a little bit. <laughs> Maybe. A little, a lot. <laughs> it better be a lot. Let me tell you. A lot. It better after be all a lot. This work, a lot. <laughs> hey, I help too. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I see how it is. And one more thing before you go. Don't forget to check out everything that Birch Living has to offer. There's a link in the description and you can save $400 off your order. Wake on the floor looking up